Hi, everyone. Welcome to The Pink Potato. I'm your host, Lara Kolchanen, and I'm the creator of Essentially Pink. Today, we're going to continue from our last topic, um, what to do when you find a breast lump from last week. Um, I briefly mentioned some things about breast thermography and uh, ultrasound, and I want to kind of go into some more breast health tips that you can get started with right away while you're still collecting data and recording the data in your log for your um, uh, the log of the, your um, breast lump um, information. So first of all, I want to talk about breast thermography and uh, a little bit more about it. Um, um, breast thermography is not um, a breast cancer diagnostic tool. However, it is very, very important um, to get information on your breast tissue itself. Um, when we have cancer, we have um, cancerous nodes growing in our breast. They need a blood supply. And breast thermography is a non-invasive, no radiation, infrared camera that can detect heat patterns in the breast. And so when we see a lot of um, red, um, either red spots, sp spots or red lines, feeding a, a circular area, that gives us an indication that there is a blood supply going to a possible tumor or a possible cyst, but we don't know what they are. And it's always great, whether you have a breast lump or not, to get a breast thermography scan done for baseline information. You can always refer to this baseline thermography scan after, in case you do come up with a lump. Um, and, and if you do have an active lump, it's great to get the breast thermography done to see how advanced it is, give you a lot of information that you can start with and that you can compare your your um, treatments, whether they're conventional or whether they're natural, to see what's working and what's not, so you can um, change your plan accordingly. So um, breast thermography averages about $225, and as of now, there's no insurance that pretty much covers it yet. Um, but there's locally in San Diego, there's two uh, companies I feel comfortable with referring. One is um, My Pink Image up in Solana Beach, and Discovery Screening um, is a mo more mobile um, here in San Diego. And uh, I would just check uh, My Pink Image um, information for where you can get more breast breast thermography done um, around the United States um, and possibly um, throughout the um, world. So I also want to say um, like a little bit about um, ultrasound. Now ultrasound is also non-invasive and no radiation and it's more of a Western approach to seeing um, and deciding what the mass is. And ultrasound will tell you what is if the lump is either filled with fluid or if the lump is a hard mass. Most people, when they get a lump, actually it's a fluid-filled cyst, and th those are often non-cancerous. But if it is a hard mass, you want to know, um, w you know, the boundaries of it and more information about it. So an ultrasound is the first place to start. There's also more... Um, uh, like an MRI will tell you the size and location as well, but we're, I'm not going to get into that um, this video blog. But I do want to say that uh, keep collecting your information, and those are just some some tips. And I want to give you some breast health info now. So two things that you can start doing right now um, when you have an undiagnosed breast lump, it is always important to act as if you had cancer, but not believe that you do in your spirit. So believe that you are healthy and you are free and you are safe, but act and choose a lifestyle that supports cancer prevention. Two things you can start right now, wake up every morning and stay hydrated. Um, when you wake up in the morning, your body is the most dehydrated um, it is in, throughout the day. So it's important to drink at least 16 ounces of water when you wake up. And if you add a slice of lemon, um, it makes your body alkaline. It makes your body alkaline. And um, having lemons each day is a very, very important way to detoxify the liver and help the body stay alkaline because when you're alkaline, cancer and bacteria cannot proliferate and grow. So it's a great way to kind of control that um, in and of itself. Also, things that are very, very um, important to reduce when you're having active lumps that are undiagnosed is to reduce and cut out as much as you can all sugar, all caffeine and a dairy if possible, um, replacing those and alcohol as well, um, replacing those um, drinks and foods with um, herbal teas and natural other natural foods. Herbal teas that are, that are some herbal teas that are great for breast health. Peppermint um, is great for digestion and really good for nausea um, and low appetite. Um, ginger tea is excellent for circulation and is really good for the immune system. Um, and dandelion root is amazing to help decongest the liver and also help support the digestive system system. Um, Chinese herbs are another great option to use and incorporate daily uh, for your breast health. Um, at Urban Acupuncture, there is, we have a breast health tea called the Breast Health Formula, Breast Health Tea, and it's um, basically the number one selling Chinese herbal formula for stress relief, and, and it's at, and there's herbs that are added for breast health. Um, and so for more information, please go to essentiallypink.com, or you can call us at Urban Acupuncture, and we'll be posting this, uh, more information underneath the blog. See you guys next week.